You know, I think a lot of you guys are probably trying to figure out how do you keep your happy when you're in the middle of chaos. There are studies that show that happiness is actually contagious. It's contagious as, as when we're not happy. The fact that it doesn't surprise me that if you get giggles on one end, it really can spread, especially when you're, you're looking for happiness. Because I think part of communication sometimes is we don't really understand maybe what somebody else's chaos challenges are. Communication. Who controls your communication? You do. If you don't understand what's going on, what should you do? Ask for clarification. I mean, you may still not get what you like, but if you don't ask, then no one knows that you're being challenged by it. How many people here multitask? Start trying to block, quit multitasking, and start trying to block and tackle, even if you're only blocking and tackling in 15 minute increments. And you have a client base that falls in this category, that is so used to thinking in the negative, you're having to rewire how they think. But we wanted to broaden the definition of happiness. What I'd like for you to do is do the counter based on kind of maybe from the time you woke up to now and count the number of happy moments you have experienced. Find out who had the most happy moments per table. You've experienced the type of happiness you might not have thought you did. 